Testing one, two, three, and a trois. Okay, we're live. Hi, guys, and welcome back to Your Essentials, where we talk about the practical uses of virtual reality and everything about the metaverse. Today, very special episode as we're going to go through the new updates of the Oculus Quest number two, version 39, but also some of the Horizon news. Oof, plenty to talk about. But first, guys, do remember that we're doing an awesome giveaway on the 11,000th subscriber, where one of you lucky devils could win potentially a brand new HP Reverb G2. That's right, sponsored by HP, which is this one over there. So they'll be the ones to send it to you. And also another lucky dinner, lucky, sorry, devil will be able to win a brand new pair of cyber shoes with the gaming station and everything that goes with it. Also sponsored by cyber shoes, so they'll be the ones to send it to you. However, a third winner will walk away with a voucher worth 50 US dollars that you'll be able to redeem against any occupation Quest store or Viveport or Steam VR store. That's right. Any VR experience that you want to walk away or spend on as long as it's worth up to 50 US dollars, then you'll be able to win that. So this is really fantastic. All right, back to today's video. Let's transition over. First, before we go through the new updates of the Oculus Quest 2, of course, some of you may know all the new updates already, but it's, this video is really for those who don't know yet, who haven't been aware of these things. And also, of course, talking about the other things that you know Meta has been doing recently, guys, because there's a lot to go through. First of all, as you guys know, well, basically Meta is working on a web version of its Horizon worlds of the metaverse platform. Now we all know that Horizon at the moment is not super popular. No one really cares about it and no one's really using it because it's just not that good at the moment in time. And there are plenty of other platforms to use, including of course, Neos is one of them. And you know, there also is Rec Room and there's a whole bunch of other ones like VRChat, for example. Um, so, you know, anyway, Meta's plan to bring his Horizon World's social meta platforms to the web. Meta City, oh, Andrew Boss Forbes said in a tweet on Thursday, being available on the web would mark a major expansion for the platform, which is currently only available on its Quest VR. Now, I find that this is a very, very interesting, of course, um, you know, strategic move on Meta's part because not everybody's in Meta using a headset. Now they claim they've sold millions and millions and millions of headsets. To be very honest with you, I personally do not believe any of the numbers and you know, they are being taken to court in some states in the US, specifically because they lied on the amount of people that was actually joining Facebook, where apparently actually less people have been joining it. So, you know, I just don't believe their numbers whatsoever. And every time that I personally go inside of the you know, into VR, there aren't as many people as they claim that they are on certain apps. For example, Population One, it takes forever to get into a game and to meet other people. Sometimes it's very much the case where there aren't that many people in it. So of course, it makes a lot of sense to develop a web version where specifically people will be able to advertise and sell specific products and have specific stores, which by the way, Meta are also building a virtual credit system, which is very much like the QQ system in China, which has been ongoing for more than a decade, guys. China are whoo, leaps and waves beyond when it comes to spending and having virtual currencies in a social media, which Facebook has not had ever, ever, ever. So Meta are now playing catch up and working on it. All right, let's transition back over to the news. Now, the other thing is, is basically for the Horizon web app, apparently this means that Meta would only take 25%. Um, <laughs> uh, but the platform would, would with a 30% fee, like Meta's on Quest Store, it would take 25% of 70%. That means for goods sold in Horizon on a Quest VR device. Now, can you believe that it takes up to 47.5% of each transaction? That is just, guys, why are you buying a Meta? Why are developers building on Meta? Are developers really making more than a million dollars in revenue? <laughs> I personally do not believe so. All these numbers are just there to, you know, I, I, I'm sorry, I just, come on guys. All the people who made more than a million dollars, please show your receipts, show your bank, show your drafts, show your revenue. 
you know, let's see the proof in the pudding because honestly speaking, any numbers that come out of Meta, as I just, as I just mentioned just now, I personally just don't believe it. I don't believe it. I think it's all fluff. I think it's all buzz, you know, all words that are trying to get us, oh, 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 let's build for Meta because honestly speaking, taking 50% of people's money is ludicrous. I don't see the point in doing this, in doing something like this. And guys, let's not forget that on Spark, the platform for content creators to build for AR, Meta have a free license or sub-license that they can just take without the content creator's knowledge or permission and use the content for commercial purposes. Now, this could be very well the same case for people who will be building on Horizon where any content creator or people who own some space in there, well, basically Meta will have a sub-license to be able to you reuse any of your content for any commercial purpose without you knowing about it or making a, sin a single dime as well. So just beware of this. Do make sure you read the TNCs, terms and conditions, before you start building for Meta, guys, because they are very, very renowned for take, 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 without you really knowing about it. All right, let's transition over again. So I, I really laugh at this. I just think this is ridiculous. I think it's really an insult to content creators and also to developers. Uh, you know, I'm sorry, but why are you guys buying a Meta Quest? I just don't know. Why are you, why are you, why? Why? Because you want to be in VR? Well, guys, this is not the way to be on VR. Maybe wait another two, three years or get a Pico Neo 3 or Pico Neo 3 link as it's going to be released in the EU before you start splashing your cash because this is the wrong way of going into VR, guys. All right, let's continue. Boss claims that the rate is lower than for some other world building platforms. Yeah, but the other world building platforms, Mr. Boss, do not take people's data and sell this data to other third parties so that they can manipulate us or to make us you know buy things that we don't frankly want to buy or we never knew wanted to buy and you know all this kind of stuff they need to be able to charge a bit higher because that is the only bread and butter for you mr meta it is not it is not and it's ludicrous and you guys are taking the mick as far as i'm concerned it is out of proportion it is a big no-no and guys apple just criticized meta very recently in a very funny article by the way apple calls out meta for hypocrisy for taking nearly 50 percent cut of virtual sales from developers after meta let me just make it bigger so you can read uh, after meta recently announced intentions to nearly take a 50 percent cut from some developers selling digital goods on its metaverse platform horizon worlds apple told market watch the move lays bare meta's hypocrisy apple and meta have been arguing about the cut taken from digital platforms for months part of a years-long feud between apple ceo tim cook and meta ceo mark zuckerberg now by the way i know that zuckerberg is the ceo but i'm not quite quite sure if he's got any role or any say in his company anymore. Uh, I think his board of directors more or less. I think he's just a puppet now. I don't really think he's got anything to do with the company. But anyway, that's just my personal opinion. I could be completely wrong. Leave a comment below what you guys think about all this, about them taking 50% cut and about Apple's comments and all these kind of things. Let us know. It'd be great to have this conversation with you. All right. On its app store, Apple takes 30% cut from sales. That includes sales within apps, which impacts Meta's bottom line across the family of apps. It operates Facebook, Instagram, and WhatsApp. Meta has repeatedly pushed back on this policy and even supported a lawsuit from Fortnite, makers Epic Games, against Apple that sought to end it. Zuckerberg himself reportedly said the policy allows Apple to charge monopolies rents on app makers revenue. Excuse me. Now Meta is imposing its own fees on sales of digital goods on its platform as much as 47.5%. So guys, I mean, again, it's just... It's just crazy. What can I tell you? It's like, all right, why don't we charge you? Let, let's just do like what, you know, some countries do. We'll charge you 90% tax, you know. We'll charge you 50% tax plus, plus, plus. I mean, guys, it's it's crazy. What What's going on in the world? Surely we... I mean, I'm not a meta user, but if you're a meta user, come on. You should you should be writing to the... You should... I mean, come on. This is ridiculous. Someone has to do something about this because otherwise, one day I'm telling you, they're going to be charging you up to 80%, 90%, 95% on everything that you own. What? You're going to keep using it because you'll own 5%? 
You have the power to do something about this. You have the power to voice something about this. You, the consumer, you, the developer, you, the content creator, you are the people in power, not Meta. And you should tell Meta, you should make some noise about this so that this changes because guys, this is ridiculous. All right, back to today's video anyway. And let's talk about now all the different um, things that Meta have been working on recently in terms of the Quest build version 39 release notes. And guys, do remember that you need a Facebook account to run your Meta Quest 2, Oculus Quest 2. And do remember that Oculus or Meta, sorry, um, have been known for shutting down a lot of different users uh, via headsets, which means that basically you'll become a brick and you won't be able to play any games whatsoever. Uh, they have done this to my account, by the way. Yes, they did. They closed my account within 48 hours, yes. And I had to give, because I'm working in a new job now and I have to manage a Facebook account, part of that game, unfortunately, not my choice. I had to give my passport details just so that I could actually have a job. Can you believe it? There you go. All right, so Quest 39 build release notes. These features will, and uh, sorry, these features and enhancements will be rolling out soon. Virtual workspace, all right, we've added a section to our settings page so you can customize your virtual workspace to fit your needs. We're also adding a mountain study environment Environment, complete with snow-capped peaks and serene redwoods, creating the, opti the optimal environment to enjoy peace and quiet whilst you focus on your work. Yeah, but it's not, it's really heavy, the headset. We can't use the headset for many hours. But great that you're doing that, I guess. Meta users, let us know in the comment below whether this will really help you, whether you think this is amazing for you. Multitasking, we've moved all multitasking features from the experimental settings panel soon. Sorry, I'm very cynical about Meta. Yes, yes, you guys know this because we don't have any Meta products on our channel. Woo! Because we don't believe in Meta. Soon everyone will be able to simply utilize multitasking by default. We also added the following new features. We've expanded the ability to use side-by-side -side app windows to additional 2D apps. Previously, side-by-side -side multitasking was only available through the experiments panel or for browser via multiple tabs. Actually, I when I used to have the Oculus Quest 1, um, I tried multi multiple tabs. It was okay. It didn't really help great. So let us know in the comments below if you think that this is going to be something really awesome for you guys. Um, and by the way, by the way, guys, more and more people are buying Pico Neo 3 Pros now for, uh, for, for, for the work. Meta is no longer being bought by a lot of companies for their work. Just so you know, guys, in case you are in enterprise level, Pico is now starting to lead up more than Meta. So just be aware that in a few years, I don't think Meta is going to have that much of a strong suit inside of the workspaces uh, or the enterprise markets. I think Vive, in fact, are going to get there and Apple of course, everyone's going to buy an Apple uh, for the enterprise, for sure, when it gets released, for sure. Uh, from the universal menu, you can easily switch between multiple windows to launch, focus, minimize, and close any open apps that support multitasking. You can also switch to specific instances for apps that support multi instance. So guys, again, let us know in the comments below what you think. Do you think this is going to be really something cool for you? Do you think it's going to be very useful? Uh, I got no idea. I mean, it, it just sounds like gibberish to me. But anyway, leave, leave us a comment below. It'd be really good to get your, um, your feedback. We've also made some general multitasking improvements to let you switch between your apps more efficiently. Okay, I guess that's great. Um, please note these updates to multitasking will be gradually rolling out over time to ensure the best possible experiments, uh, experience Sorry, for all Quest owners. Um, so guys, by the way, there will be a new headset coming out this year. Apparently, we still don't have any news about this, uh, which is called Project Cambria. So Quest users, unfortunately, you're going to go to the back burner. So do start saving your money if you believe in Meta. And if you want a better headset, don't buy Quest. Just wait for the next headset that's going to come out because it's going to come out in a few months' time. We know that already. Uh, all right, back to today's um, video, of course. Feed redesign. We've redesigning notifications to make it easier to manage both in VR and in the Oculus mobile app. In VR, you can now sort notifications by time or by APP. Guys, is this useful to you? Leave a comment below. In the Oculus mobile app, you can swipe across a notification and tap the wheels uh, settings, sorry, button to quickly unsubscribe or change notification setting for that app. So guys, by the way, I highly suggest unsubscribe 
all your notifications. Why do you want to be bombarded by meta notifications? It saves no purpose other than create burnout, just so you know. All right, um, let's go back to today's video. Uh, I'm really roasting meta today, yes, but you know, do let us know in the comments below if you feel that these, of course, these new things are gonna be great for you. Browser, you can now, and did I mention you need a Facebook account to, to use your meta? I think I did. Do be aware that you have to be very careful because if Facebook close out your account, if meta close out your Facebook account, boom, that's it, you're done. No more games you can use. Browser, you can now share links from your mobile browser to your headset via the Oculus mobile app. When you share a link, it'll be open in browser the next time you put on your headset. Is that great? I don't know, leave a comment below. We previously introduced this feature to Android devices and now we're bringing this to iOS devices. Oh, iOS, hmm, okay, excellent. Android devices, was that great for you? iOS, do you care? I don't know, leave a comment below. And guys, by the way, did I mention that we're doing the competition giveaway where you can win a brand new HP Reverb G2 or brand new pair of cyber shoes with the gaming station, the chair, the cyber carpet, everything that goes with it. And also a third lucky winner will walk away with a voucher worth 50 US dollars where you can buy any VR experience that you want on any store. It will be completely up to you. Link in the description below, guys, as you can then go to Gleam's website where all the details will be there. It's completely free, guys, to participate. So go there after this video. We're updating back to today. So we're updating, let me just check that I did transition over. Yes, we're updating the logo for browser to better reflect our vision for the product. Ooh, the Meta logo is going to be updated. Oh my God, stop the press, stop the press, stop this video. Oh my God, they're updating the logo, guys. This is the biggest feature on today. I mean, come on, this is, if they weren't going to update the logo, guys, come on, you, you should not even be putting your Meta Quest on ever again. I mean, come on, let's be real. Ha ha ha. All right, okay, sorry, bad humor. Uh, okay, and finally, user reporting improvements. Simplify the user uh, reporting process, reducing the number of steps required for users to submit reports. Submit all the reports you can, guys. Tell them how expensive it is for content creators to have to pay to fork out 50% of their money. <sighs> Come on, guys. Submit a report, submit a report, submit a report because you can make a difference. Added a freedom field for users to add any additional details to the report. So there you go, guys. These are all the details. However, because you're super awesome, I'm gonna go and uh, read some comments that you guys left on some of the, the, the videos and also welcome some of you to the channel because you deserve it. So let's just go to the VR Essentials uh, YouTube channel, the channel that is awesome because of you. Uh, let me just go to VR Essentials, here we go. And then boom, uh, YouTube, YouTube Studio. And then let's go to, guys, we're almost at 11,000 subscribers. As I mentioned, it's up to you when we do the giveaway because we'll be doing the giveaway when we reach 11,000 subscribers. Go to the link description below after this video, of course, because you need to reshare some videos. So it's really up to you, you know, as to how fast we get there. The more videos you share, the faster we get there. It's really, really that simple. But I'd like to thank all those who have participated so far and who have reshared the videos to help us to get from 9,000, which is when we had announced the uh, competition about a couple months ago, now going heading to 11,000. So thank you very much, guys. All right, let's go to recent subscribers. Boom, 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 boom. Make it a bit bigger for you. I'd like to welcome, let me go to date subscribe. Alexander Sintra, Thomas Lackner, Shady Shakarene, uh, Shakerane, sorry, uh, Richard York, uh, Mobanton, uh, Shud Alexander, Franco Masai, Mioi91, Eric Broxton, and also Ferry Smiles. Guys, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for joining today's channel, today, today joining today, or joining in the last few days. Uh, the channel, you guys are so freaking awesome. I know how long, how much it takes to press the subscribe button. It takes a lot. It takes a lot, so thank you, thank you very much. Uh, let's welcome some other guys as well, because it's been a while since I did this, although I did do this yesterday as well. Uh, David Griffiths, Dean Sanders, Gunnar Kelly, Sihan Er, uh, JKBZZJ, NA, uh, Milos Slav Schultz, Will Colsaben, Billy Barbarino, and Stefan Gomez. Guys, again, thank you so much for making this channel so awesome. You guys are freaking Awesome, it's really that simple. All right, let's read some, uh, some comments uh, just very quickly based on yesterday's video, which was all about the differences between the uh, Oculus Quest 2 and also, of course, the, um, the Pico Neo 3 Link, which, which by the way, guys, um, you know, if I was just to show you very quickly, where did I put the uh, link? Here we go. This is the Pico Neo 3 Link, guys, it's here. 
Yes, yeah, so we did the video. Go and check out that video from yesterday. Let me just transition over again. Let me go to the video, uh, which is here. Guys, we have so many videos. Do go and check out the wall. It's absolutely amazing. Your love is just crazy. Um, so let me just make it bigger because there was a couple comments from yesterday. Carnizal says, um, Pico Neo 2 and 3 are popping up more often on eBay and I'm strongly considering them to replace my Cosmos Elite. Seriously, honestly, it's a fantastic headset. It's much better than the uh, Oculus Quest 2 simply because, well, first of all, they don't charge such a high premium to all content creators. They're pro creators, pro, pro developers. Uh, secondly, there's a lot of apps in there now you know, not, okay, not as many as Oculus Quest 2, of course, but there's still quite a few, and I will do future videos, so do hit the subscribe for that, and enable your bell after you subscribe, so that you get notified when I upload these videos, of course. Um, you know, and it's a very, very, it's just, let me, sorry, let me just transition over uh, uh, again very quickly, um, and it's, it's an awesome VR headset. It's just really hard, it's got, the battery here, the other thing here is very comfortable on the on the head. Okay, the, I think the moose, the, the, the facial interface, they need to change it because honestly speaking, it's not gonna fit everybody, so that's gonna be an issue. Um, but you know, it's just an amazing headset, it works, the tracking's very good. You know, it's just a very, very decent product, what can I tell you? Uh, so yeah, for sure. Uh, and, and, and the graphics are very good. Uh, I use VR Compare a lot, nice way to compare headsets. I like the Pico Link, uh, nice for developers and consumers to have more options. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, exactly. That's all I can say. So guys, that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching uh, the video, for spending some time together. As you guys know, for those who are regular viewers, I have a brand new full-time job. It's taking a lot of my time. I haven't been online for a little while, but I will try, of course, as I settle into my job more and more. And I feel that I can hack it, spend more time doing more videos. So do hit the notification bell after you subscribe to get all that awesomeness in the future. Guys, until then, I'll see you in the comments below. Have an amazing Sunday. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye.